It's Friday night in Ohio, and across the entire Buckeye State, high school students are taking to the field. In the Mahoning Valley, it's the Falcons against the Spartans, two teams from Ohio's northeastern Rust Belt corridor. Through times both good and bad, Ohio towns gather for this seasonal passage. And while fans seem to relish in the unpredictability of the contest, the exercise stands as one of the few unwavering rituals of life in the Mahoning Valley. Outside of high school football, there are few such consistencies in northeastern Ohio. Last summer, I came through the Mahoning Valley as part of a tour through the American Rust Belt, visiting the recently revitalized Chevy Cruze plant in Lordstown, Ohio. The turnaround, the result of the Obama administration's decision to bail out General Motors, has not only extended a lifeline to GM, but it seems to have given the valley a second chance at survival. Right now, things are good. In the Mahoning Valley, we have one of the lowest unemployment rates in the country. <laughs> You know, this is very uncharacteristic of this community because historically we've been behind the eight ball. You know, as our congressman says, we're, we're, we're getting to be known as the miracle on the Mahoning. Since my first visit, this miracle on the Mahoning has taken center stage in the 2012 presidential election as both candidates battle for Ohio's coveted 18 electoral votes. In the simplest of terms, the vote will be a choice between Barack Obama and Mitt Romney. But to a larger degree, Ohio voters are asking perhaps one of the most fundamental questions of this election. How do they feel about the relationship between the federal government and private enterprise? Answering that question gets more complicated as you move south. Columbiana County, a county which John McCain carried in 2008 by a very small margin, sits just 20 miles south of Lordstown. And while GM has just announced an additional investment in the Chevy Cruze plant, it does not mean that Barack Obama will carry this county in November. In 2012, we now have more registered Republicans in the county than there are registered Democrats. And you know, the political leadership in the county will tell you that's probably the first time that's happened in 50 or 60 years. Uh, and if it's any indication, uh, all of our polling in Columbiana County has got, in this county, has got about an 18% spread uh, for Romney. With roughly 70,000 registered voters, Columbiana will most likely not tip the Ohio scale one way or another. But given its proximity to the Lordstown plant, it does raise questions about how those outside the immediate bailout sphere view the government's actions. I'm glad that Lordstown is operating and I'm glad people have jobs there. But as a business person, if I had to look at the money that was spent to produce those jobs, it wasn't a good investment. As to be expected, this feeling is not shared by their northern neighbors. There are still some people who will argue that it was the wrong thing to do. Um, some folks will cry like socialism, things like that. Uh, clearly for us, a totally different feeling. We were out of work. Anybody who works in the industry and, you know, one out of eight jobs in the state of Ohio, that's pretty big. Well, one in eight's only 12 percent. So, uh, you know, there, there's, there's still about 88 percent that aren't affected by that. It's a lot of money to spend to affect 12 percent of the people. For conservatives, it's about a bottom line. It, it's not about that for us. It's about dignity. We don't want a handout from anyone. We want a shot. We want to be able to show people we got the best workers in the country. That we are the sons and daughters of immigrants. We came to, my grandparents came to this country with nothing, nothing in their pockets, nothing in the bank, and they, and they worked in the steel mills, and they forged this valley, and they built this state, and they built this country. And we're a proud people, and all we want is a shot. But even back at the football field, it's difficult to find consensus even amongst those who work at the Lordstown plant. You know, we are, by all means, you know, thankful for Obama, you know, the administration, everything, Congress for, you know, putting that into action and for saving our jobs. But I'm, I, I'm not a fan of, of, of the Obamacare. To me, it's, it's kind of like a Robin Hood. Give, you know, steal from the rich, give to the poor. I feel that if there's a place they can help, they should. And I feel like the president is really trying to work hard to make sure that we do recover. It's going to take time, like he said, and I'm patient. And I believe that if we have someone in our corner, we're going to be OK. And I believe it's going to help everyone, not just me, but it's going to help people in, uh, I would say, Detroit. It will help people here. It will help people all over the country. Walking through the stands, you can't help but marvel at the complexity of the American electorate. And while the emotion behind this year's election will inevitably end like the game behind me, unlike on the field, the winner may alter the way in which the game is played. Christopher Booker, Financial Times, Austintown, Ohio.